Welcome back. We are the Sunny List in the State. Uh, we are here to set the record straight. Uh, what we want to do is offer you guys the official records that have never been released. Uh, that has only been allowed to be released to the estate of Sonny Liston. Um, so let's begin. Let's begin with the idea of the big lie. Um, and that is something that Hitler, Adolf Hitler, was able to uh, master. He was able to master the, the big lie. And his philosophy of the big lie. Let's, let's read that. Uh, I, and I quote, if you tell a big enough lie and you tell it frequently enough, it will be believed. So um, using that as an example, what is one of the big lies about Sonny Liston? One of, one of the big lies about Sonny Liston is that there were drugs found on his person and at his house at the time of his death. Uh, depending on what documentary you watch, uh, there were uh, a bag of there was a bag of marijuana supposedly found. There was uh, in in his pocket uh, by a police officer. There was also um, there was heroin in his in his pocket when he was found and there was a balloon supposedly a balloon of heroin on the kitchen counter um that is the big lie i'm going to tell you why it's the big lie um if you watch the documentary and there's been many documentaries uh, this one, I think, was in 1995. It's, it was called uh, Sonny Liston, The Mysterious Life and Death of a Champion. And, and in that documentary, uh, there, were, there were three former, former Las Vegas police officers uh, slash actors. Basically, they had already, they were no longer police officers, but they were playing themselves in the documentary. And they've been playing themselves it, it for decades in many documentaries um and they claimed to be they had claimed to be at the house when sonny died to find sonny and now you you have uh, a new former police officer in the showtime special pariah the uh the lives and deaths of sonny liston uh officers uh, former officer Larry Gandy, who is now also uh, no longer a police officer and is an actor who plays himself. Um, so the, 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 the lie, the big lie is that these particular officers, uh, Dennis Caputo, former officers, actors now, uh, <clears throat> Gary Beckwith and Dean Weidman have stated that they were there at the house to find Sonny. Uh, my grandmother, Geraldine Liston, said they weren't there. She, she didn't see them at the house. Uh, and they claim to have found the drugs uh, at the house and were part of the investigation. Um, and if you watch this uh, documentary, <clears throat> Uh, 1995 documentary, you will see um, what looks like official records of <clears throat> what is called a <clears throat> invest investigative worksheet. Uh, so the worksheet that they say that they filled out <clears throat> uh, and showed in the documentary, uh, they stated that <clears throat> they, they referenced that worksheet as they're talking about their findings, finding uh, drugs, marijuana, uh, heroin. Uh, they referenced this worksheet, an investigative worksheet, to, to prove, kind of like proof that they were investigating. They led an investigation. 
Um, <clears throat> now, why well, I say that's the big lie is because those uh, documents uh, were not released yet because they were only released to the state of Sunny Liston uh, almost 40 odd years later to me. So if you look closely at that, that documentary and other documentaries, you would see that the dates, dates are wrong. Uh, you see that they, they may look like official records, but they, they're, they're almost look like they're made to look old. <clears throat> and some of the dates that, that you need to read are, are kind of smudged out because with kind of like, uh, I mean, I used to do that. I used to do this when I was in, in middle school. We used to, we used to, they used to teach us how to make, uh, when, we, when we had pen pals, we, as a class, we would write to our pen pals and then we would be creative by trying to make them look old, you know, like whatever the thing was, whether it was finding a, be a buried treasure and finding a letter in the ground. Uh, when we dug as a class, uh, we would send <clears throat> theme, uh, kind of like a theme, themed uh, letter to uh, our friends around the world. Like this is the letters we found when we were treasure hunting in the ground, and we would kind of burn the edges and and soak it in, in in certain types of chemicals to make them look old. This is what these documents look like. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I call what what these gentlemen, uh, uh, former officers. Uh, we're talking about back then by saying they were there and finding all this is because that was the big that is the big lie that is is then repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated for forty years. It's repeated in editorial copy. It's repeated in 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 uh, movies. It's repeated in books uh, for forty years. And just think about all this time where this, this lie, this big lie, has been repeated by Showtime, uh, sports, ESPN, uh, it's been sports, all these other uh, agencies, uh, uh, it's been repeated by um, historians, it's be, been repeated by uh, uh, news agencies uh, globally. We're not just talking about uh, just in the United States. We're talking this lie has been spread all over the world for 40 years. So after 40 years, it becomes, the big lie becomes, you say it frequently enough, people start to believe it. That's just, that's what's happened with the lie <clears throat> that these gentlemen have told the world. And I'm going to prove to you why it's a lie. And the thing about what they've done is it, they've cheated they've cheated all of you because you spend your hard earned money to, to buy your books about Sonny Liston, to buy your, to go see the movies about Sonny Liston, to see the sports specials about Sonny Liston. And you don't know what you're watching is a lie. So it's kind of like a conspiracy to defraud and, and extort us consumers. Um, and this all started with these officers claiming that they were the investigators on the case. Um, and and this caused the public to believe these theories, this investigation was real. So <clears throat> Let's look at the real uh, investigative worksheet. Because remember, Geraldine Liston did not call the police. She called a lawyer. She got a hold of her friend and she called, the friend called the lawyer and then they called the county coroner. And we, I talked about this in my other video, so you just, I don't want to go over that again, but if you look at the other videos, you'll see the uh, the information about the circumstances of how Geraldine ended up, how the how the 
county coroner ended up at the at the house uh, where Sonny had passed. Now, <clears throat> I want you to look at what a real document, the real worksheet, not the fake one that uh, the officers, the former officers, Las Vegas officers showed you the, and have been showing uh, the world for the last uh, over 40 years. <clears throat> not those fake ones. This is what the real uh, worksheet looks like. You see, wherever there's information, it's there's no. This this is forty something years old. Now I'm not saying the sheet is forty years old, but I'm sh I'm sure they have they have the uh, the everything's on computers. So this is this is a copy, of course. Um, but as you see, the information is very clear. There's no age lines going through the numbers or anything like that. And this is just you know, this is probably because it was in a notebook and maybe they 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 printed it from the notebook. But <clears throat> this is what a real document looks like. So um, it's very clear and um, the information is very legible. But when you see it in these documentaries, um, a lot of it, they don't show you the whole document. They don't they show you parts of it. Uh, <clears throat> so. So the claim is that these guys were were uh, the sheriff's the the, uh, the Las, Las Vegas Police Department was there investigating the death of Sonny Liston. That's what they're claiming. That's what these officers have been claiming for decades, and that's what they're claiming on the Showtime special Pariah: The Lives and Deaths of Sonny Liston. They're claiming they're also. The big lies come this far. It's come to, forty years later. They're still, they're still talking about. They're still talking about the big lie. So <clears throat> I called uh, former officer Dennis Caputo slash actor, and this is what I asked him. Um, what did I ask him? I asked him. <clears throat> I said a lie is impenetrable to logic um Geraldine Liston said that she was the first to arrive at the house to find her husband Sonny Liston laying dead from a heart attack retired sergeant Dennis Caputo said that he was the first to arrive at the scene to find Sonny dead he also stated that he found drugs on Sonny and drugs in the kitchen well I called Mr. Caputo and asked him one question I asked him are you cla clairvoyant? I told him that he would have to be clairvoyant to have known that Sonny was dead and to be the first to arrive at Sonny's house because according to the autopsy report that, that had been released only to me after being behind lock and key for over 40 years, my grandmother never called the police. She called her next door neighbor's doctor and the doctor called the investigative coroner. Uh, so the sheriff's department was never called. Dennis Caputo was not one of the officers at the scene. And there were no drugs found on Sonny or in the house. Sonny had no barbiturates or hallucinogens in his blood or urine, according to the report. No need, well, he did have what they said could have been needle marks and also could be been a scar, but it doesn't matter because I'll let you know why it doesn't matter uh, in a minute. Uh, so, so there's, there's a claim that there were scars that look like needle marks, but anyway, we'll deal with that soon, uh, on his arms at the time of death. And his death has never, never been ruled a homicide because he died of a heart of, of heart failure. Mr. Caputo first said that he was not clairvoyant and defended his story up until I told him that I had the autopsy report in my possession. That is when retired officer Caputo ch changed his story from being the first officer to arrive at the scene to the lead officer in the investigation. I asked him what investigation? Why would there be an, a need for an investigation when Sonny's death was not ruled a homicide? I also asked him where are the drugs that he was supposed to have found on Sonny and that was, and that was in the house. He said that he turned them into the lab. I said to him then, where is Sonny's incident report? He said it was in Sonny's file. I told him that I checked Sonny's file and the only thing in his file was Sonny's gun registration. Then Mr. Caputo told me 
that the police not only lost the report, but he also told me that the drugs that had been conf confiscated never came back from the lab. I told him, how could something as insignificant as Sonny's gun registration be in Sonny's file after 40 years and not his incident report? But remember that there was no need for an investigation because Sonny's death was not ruled a homicide. I mentioned that fact that if he found illegal substances in the house when he was when he supposedly arrived at the scene, and if he is correct in saying that he led the Sonny List investigation, then who did he take to jail that day and what suspects did he interview? I explained that he could not have taken Sonny to jail because he was obviously already dead. There were two of officers that arrived with the investigative coroner after Geraldine found Sonny. And the names of those two policemen, two uh, county coroner officers are on the autopsy report. And the two policemen, and the two policemen, Dennis Caputo and former Las Vegas Police Sergeant Gary Beckwith and Dennis, uh, the hell is his name? Dennis, um, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, oh, Dennis A. Weidman, um, names, uh, who, uh, and, let's see, Dennis Caputo and former Las Vegas Police Sergeant Gary Beckles and Dennis, Dennis A. Wyman, who has also been interviewed about the circumstances surrounding the death of Sonny Listen, names that were not on the autopsy report as witnesses. These two, these three men have single-handedly helped to keep the mystery of how Sonny Liston met his demise alive for decades, all based on innuendo, speculation, and conjecture, instead of the facts, evidence, and good policing. Uh, so that's that. So that was the big lie. The big lie has come that that's gone forty years to this day. People still telling that lie, and in every new book, in every uh, new uh, incantation of Sonny Liston uh, uh, books, movies, editorial copy, there's always this heroin story. Okay, uh, this these drugs are being found. So I'm going to read you the investigative worksheet. And tell you what really happened, what they really found, what what the Clark County Coroner's office found, because they were there. No, there, there were no sheriffs there. There's there was there was no no uh, Larry uh, Gandhi or any of these people. Okay, so date of the call received one five seventy one eleven fifty p.m. to twenty fifty eight Ottawa Las Vegas Nevada. Uh, call received from John Cotting Paul Mochery. Uh, investigative coroner uh, says H uh, Bazu, something like that. B O Z U E. Officers on the scene: uh, um, uh, Spence Le Lemon. I can't read it now, but I've read it in my. It's real. It's in cursive, so it's kind of hard. But uh, <clears throat> it's it's Mr. Lemon and Mr. Carl Albright, which I've already discussed. I just can't think of his. I think it's Spence uh, Lemon, but it's in my other uh, videos. <clears throat> and I don't have time to go get the uh, autopsy report. Uh, and others, details on think. And then also, um, there's a discrepancy about, oh, Sonny had after, after during the uh, postmortem, they, they, they think they found needle marks on his arms that, or, or it could be, uh, not his arms, but actually on on I think it was his left arm, uh, where they found found the needle mark in this part of his arm. But they said it looked like a scar. Could have been a scar. Could have been needle marks. They weren't. There's no. It wasn't conclusive. Uh, but what people don't know, and what they've said in the past, where they were wrong, that Sonny had an accident before um, uh, <clears throat> before he died, and um, so during the accident. Um, they say, oh, he spent seven days in in the hospital, okay? So, and he went to the hospital complaining of chest pain after the accident. So, of course, there's going to be blood work. So, that may be, maybe he got the needle marks from that. But again, he was a boxer who uh, had to get blood work before fights. So, you know, there was the accident. Then when was his last fight? I mean, there's a lot of variables, you know, to 
why he would have needle marks. And and supposedly he's Geraldine said he's scared of needles. And then the, then the argument is, well, he's scared of needles. Then why does he have needle marks? Then he must be a drug addict, right? So anyway, um, why do they draw those conclusions? Anyway, uh, on Thanksgiving Day of 1970, Liston had been involved in a traffic accident and was hospitalized for three or four days, not seven to nine, I think is what they were saying, and treated by a Dr. Browning. The CCSO, that's from the corner, officers from the corners uh, department, the corners office, found on the kitchen counter, this is the, can I get a drum roll? This is what it's all about right here. Because they said they found a, ba uh, a balloon of heroin on the kitchen counter. That's what these cops said, and they've been saying it for 40 years. Okay, here we go. The CCO, not Dennis Caputo, not Gary Beckwith, not uh, uh, Dennis Wyman, whatever the hell his name is, found on the kitchen counter a small blue balloon, which had been tied. Okay, the balloon was tied now. It was a tied balloon in a knot. It was tied in a knot. You know, most balloons, most balloons are tied in a knot. Uh, but the side was split open. Oh my God. What does that mean? A, a, a balloon that has been tied in a knot and the side is split open. Could it be possible that it popped? Because balloons pop. I hear they pop a lot. Uh, it was believed, believed, the balloon contained heroin. It was believed. That's why out of all the things that could have been possible, why could it have been believed? Why was it believed that it was a balloon for heroin? Was there a birthday in it? Maybe they had a birthday in the kitchen they, and the kids were in there, you know, eating cake and they, they were playing around with the balloon and they popped the balloon and... But heroin? So there was no heroin. It was just believed that it was heroin. That, that it contained heroin, excuse me. As a result of the CC, CCSO's discovery, the... The d descendant was uh, placed in a body body and body bag, I guess, locked in the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. The defendant was placed in a body and I guess that means body bag. There's a word missing. And locked in the refrigerator at Palm Mortuary. Uh, to, uh, left 2058 Ottawa at 1115 a.m. Locked in refrigerator at 128 a.m. The county coroner, I think the SO, SO is, I can check that later, but I think it's special officer serv or service officer, but I'll check with, uh, with the uh, uh, coroner's office uh, to give, get back on you know, with the CCO. I think it means county coroner uh, service officer. Uh, so locked in the refrigerator at 128 a.m., CCSO uh, uh, remain at the scene to do further investigation. So, Dennis Caputo, Las Vegas Police Department, uh, Gary Beckwith, uh, uh, Dennis A. Wyman, they've been lying for 40 years and they've been getting paid to lie to you people out there. And you're paying all your hard dollars in cash and savings to get lied to. What are you gonna do about it? Complain to the Showtime, complain to, to ESPN, complain to uh, Showtime, uh, uh, HBO, all these all these sports networks that, and all these book writers and all these uh, all these news agencies that have been lying to you for all these years, because I've I've asked I've gone over I've asked everyone around the world, I've told them I had all this information and no one wanted it, not one person in on the globe wanted this information. Why is that? Because controversy sells. They don't want to give up 
They're golden goose. Sonny, listen. And you're suffered for it. Okay, so more to come. And uh, thank you for listening. Go get them, everybody. Get your money.